Hello and welcome back to Excel Mind. So today we are going to look at most common question. What is VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP? And to learn that, we added a data in two formats. Vertical and horizontal. We had lookup value over here. As you can see once the value get changed the data look for that value and get changed. Here we are looking for employee ID. So, before we move further, we have written both the formula over here. So, let's first see what is VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is vertical lookup. And HLOOKUP is horizontal lookup. VLOOKUP searches the value vertically, left to right, and HLOOKUP do the same horizontally, up to down. Now let's move one to the lookup value. Lookup value is the value to be found in first column of table. So, for this our lookup value is Durgesh Padal. And we will be searching this under B range for V lookup. And for horizontal, we will be searching under two row. Now moving further to table array. Table array is a range in which you need to do lookup, you can mention name too. In our data, our range for VLOOKUP will be B2 till C20. And we will be searching value under B section of range. And for horizontal, our range will be G2 till Y3. And we will be searching value under row 2 of range. Moving further, our next term is column index number. Column index number is the column number of the matching value, which should be your returned value. Which is this from the range. We will be looking value under B and will return value of C. It is similar for HLOOKUP too. We will be looking at the value under second rows. And will return the value of third row. And the last criteria is range underscore lookup. Range underscore lookup is closet match, then true, or one, exact match, then false or zero. And in this tutorial, we will be searching for exact match. So we will be using false. Let make some amendment, it should spell false. So, let's start while writing formula. So we'll first clean the data and we'll write fresh one. We will clean data validation too and we'll add new one. We already shown how to create data validation in our previous video. Click data validation tab, then select list from drop down. Then select range, later hit OK. Data with list successfully created. Now we'll write the formula for VLOOKUP. equals v lookup and first criteria is lookup value and for us the lookup value is our list so we'll select cell with data list that is f6 
Now next criteria is range and our range will be B2 till C20. Next will be column index, which is column number of the matching value, which should be your returned value. And here is we are finding employee ID, so its number is 2 from range, so we'll write 2. And lastly as we are looking for exact value, so we'll select false, or you can type 0. So lastly we'll close the bracket. And you can see your formula for VLOOKUP is completed. You can see it's working fine. Whenever you value changed your formula do look up and give the exact match. So now let's move to H lookup. It's similar to V lookup, just range will be horizontal and number will count from up to down. We'll write formula as H lookup, then value of lookup, which is same as V lookup. That is F6. As you can see, cell got selected. Now next criteria is range, and here our range will be horizontal. That is G2 till Y3. Don't forget to add comma after each criteria. And now next will be row number, which is row number of the matching value, which should be your returned value. From our range, it will be row number 2. As we are searching employee ID and it's under number 2 from range. And now final step, which again, we will be searching exact match, so we'll add false and then bracket close. You can see our formula has been completed and we got our result too. Now let's do some check by changing our value. You can see our both the formula working fine, we got matched result from horizontal data and vertical data too. Now whenever you change value, your formula will search data for range, and it will give matched result. We hope we have covered the tutorial in simplest way and will bring more such tutorial. Hope you have enjoyed our tutorial and it was helpful. We have added detail formula under description link for your help. Thank you for watching.